Hello Taurus, welcome back to Themacy Lighthouse. Thank you for joining me here today on my channel. In this reading, we're gonna be taking a look at the recent past, the present, and the future. To book your private reading with me, all of that info is below along with all of the price listings. And the best way to be notified as to when I put out any new content is by following me on Instagram. The link to my IG is below. And as always, not each and every Taurus watching me is gonna feel like this is their message, and that's okay. All right, so I hope you enjoy the little dark setting that I have here. Just run your candles and vibe with me. All right, so let's take a look at the recent past. Spirit, please talk to me about the recent past when it comes to Taurus and this energy that Taurus is dealing with. Spirit, please talk to me about the recent past. Talk to me about the recent past when it comes to, all right, these cards wanted to come out. And then the Two of Cups in reverse, all right? So right now, things are not going the way that you thought they would be going, right? With the Two of Cups in reverse here. The King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces coming out here in the recent past. So I feel that there is someone who genuinely really does love you Taurus so don't think that this person has no emotion for you because again the king of cups you know what I mean we can't question that <laughs> and then we have this three of swords in reverse Libra Gemini Aquarius somebody wants to come out of pain someone has been in a lot of it all right, it's your person. That's your person's energy. I know that this has been painful for you, but there's something that they know they need to stop. And they also know that they need to change something in order to get you from being in this reverse position to the upright. You're coming out in reverse. And it's because of how conflicted this other person is. You know what you want. They don't. But they love you though, King of Cups. Don't get it mistaken. But because of how in and out and up and down this person's serotonin levels are, right? When it comes to psychology, they confuse you. And therefore, you don't know what to do when it comes to this person. You love them too. You are the queen of cups for this person. Vice versa, you both are. But there is something that your person needs to drop. And you know what that is. Whether it's a habit, another person, a place of work, where they're living, the location. They need to own up to that. And until they learn how to do that... You're going to continue to be in this, I'm not fucking with you vibe. Excuse my language. Now, let's take a look at the present. Spirit, talk to me about the present when it comes to Taurus and this energy that Taurus is dealing with, please. Talk to me about the present here. Talk to me about the present. Talk to me about the present. Justice. All right. So somebody is looking for some type of peace here. You could be dealing with a Libra. All right. Who is it that's looking for peace and why? Talk to me about this justice card coming out in the present. Talk to me about justice coming out here in the present, please. Talk to me about justice coming out in the present. The Ace of Pentacles and then your person feeling lonely here. I know you wanna to give to this person because you know there's something wrong with them. And I know that you wanna make them feel better because I have the Ace of Pentacles. So this is you trying to offer 
this person who's lonely over here, you know, you're trying to help them out. But I feel like this person needs to help themselves out. There's some other shit that this person is not owning up to, which is why you always feel like you got a hand over this pentacle. You have a good heart, Taurus. But there's some shit your person is going through right here. So let's take a look to see at what that is. Spirit, talk to me about this Four of Cups. Why is Taurus's person showing up as very lonely? This person is lonely here. Why is that? Talk to me about this Four of Cups. Why is this person lonely here? What is going on with this person, Spirit? Talk to me about why they're showing up like this. They feel trapped, but trapped to what? Eight of Swords, right? What makes them feel like that? The moon. And then we have the Ten of Swords again. Why are they keeping this quiet? Taurus already knows the truth. It's like, you know this person is either stuck or overwhelmed. And yet it's like pulling teeth to get them to say this. You know, I feel like they want to be around you right now. Like that's the vibe that I get. You know, if they could, you know, be closer to you, then they would, they want to. Even if you guys live together, they have this desire to just, you know, improve the connection. But some Torians are very guarded right now. And it's because you're tired. And yesterday we were talking about, you know, once a Taurus gets tired, then it's a wrap, right? And so you're kind of a little standoffish because of that, if you live with this person, because they confuse you so much. And it's because of their own shit. They need to address what their issues are. If they need to see a therapist, go see a therapist. If you gotta stop drinking, stop drinking. If you gotta stop taking pills, stop doing that. If you gotta stop smoking, stop smoking. If you gotta move, you gotta move. If you gotta drop a person from your circle, drop them. There's a bad influence somewhere in your person's life and they feel like they're doing the right thing. This person is not. Not until they confront what their real problem is. Let's talk about the future. Spirit, talk to me about the future when it comes to Taurus and this person. Talk to me about the future when it comes to Taurus and this person, please. The future for Taurus and this person. The future for Taurus and this person. Some of you guys don't want to hear this, but Taurus, I don't see you putting up with this for much longer. You're walking away. Eight of Cups. You're walking away. And over here, we have your person struggling to change. But maybe that's something that they need to learn all by themselves. You know what I mean? Maybe we can't help this person. We tried. We have the Six of Cups in reverse. I feel like you're dropping this connection in the future. That's what needs to happen for this person to change. That's what I'm getting. For some of you, you're going to separate from this person and eventually you guys will get back together because sometimes you have to be apart in order to know where you belong, right? And I feel like it's not such a bad